the interplay between the characters, I enjoy just they seem to have a good time, enjoy what they're doing, uh, enjoy the variety of the music. They play a lot, wide range of uh, songs that I kind of like. And at Max Pub, it feels kind of like you're sitting in a pub just relaxing and enjoying things. What I want to know is where do these guys come up with this stuff? Doo-wop, ramalama ding dong <laughs> Come on, who are these guys? Believe it or not, a lot of our material really just comes naturally. We all have a, a natural ability to harmonize with each other. One of us will start singing a song, and the next thing you know, bam, it's done. Sometimes it happens even right in the middle of our shows. I mean, someone will start up this novelty song, and then I'll start doing my thing on my guitar, and then Rachel just starts doing her thing, and pretty soon everyone jumps in, and pretty soon we got the whole pub singing this stupid song. It's not that way all of the time though. More often than not, we do have to rehearse long and hard before we finally get it right. We usually rehearse once a week. All right, what do you guys think? I think should we should do, do it again? again, just in case so we don't sound sloppy. Okay, okay, let's do it one more time. Right. Is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Two, three, four, song style number one! Baby! Uh, okay, that was okay, but Angelina, uh, you're a little late. It's so, okay, so let's try it again. Okay, late. Here we go. More of the two. Song style number one! Bing! Bing. Yeah, that was a little better. Tim can be a bit of a slave driver sometimes. I wouldn't go so far to say it's a power trip or anything like that. I think Tim just really wants the best show from all of us. So I guess you could call him a perfectionist, but... He's anal. And that's saying something coming from a homo, okay? Tim may get a buck up his butt about one thing or another. But we give him a lot of flack on stage, so it sort of evens things out. It's actually like one of our sticks, just annoying the pub master. I guess I just have a good sense of what works and what doesn't, and most of the time I'm right. You know, there are just some times when you need more cowbell. I mean, who doesn't? We actually used to sell personalized cowbells with the Dregs logo on it. And now you cannot walk five feet without one of those damn things clanging on your ass. <laughs> I have the biggest cowbell of the dregs, and the boys just suck away at time. Some people might say I'm compensating for something, but trust me, it's all part of the act. Oh no, he says a lot of things are part of the act, but let me tell you something. That boy should be a stripper. I'm serious. Tim, I mean. So metro. I've known Tim since before high school, and I can tell you one thing with certainty. That dance has never gotten any better. I mean, he dances around like Angelina does when she has to pee. I think Angelina was born with a bladder the size of a shot glass. She's running off to the loo every five minutes. That girl cranks out more piss than a Milwaukee brewery. I swear we have to keep a toilet within arm's reach. Where's Joe? Joe! It's amazing we can start it all sometimes, but you know, fortunately, our show is pretty flexible. We have a lot of material. We perform several shows a day, and we never perform the same song at any given show. Um, we've got about 90 songs in our repertoire, and that's not including any of the novelty ones. We slip it on the fly. When I'm walking, I start to stop, and I'm so stuck out. My mind's cut, and I just might. I've been around uh, Drake Fan for about um, five years. Now, I started going to their shows when they no one else would show up, so they begged me to stay. You see a lot of acts who do the same set every single show, and yet we are completely opposite from that. Uh, I don't think we do the same song at all during the entire day, and yet fans just love it. The kind of love and respect that we get from these people is just amazing. It's just, they've got like Drake's fans. I guess you could call them groupies. We like to call them droopies. Uh, Nobody thinks that's weird. Why do we have droopies? Hmm? Where do these people come from? It's just absurd to think that we could even have the kind of following that we do. Personally, I consider myself really lucky. I mean, people want to hear my voice. That's perfect. Let's be honest. It's not like I'm going to impress anyone with my wreck. <laughs> Flatter than a 12-year-old. <laughs> uh, 12-year-old bottle of red beer. Sorry. Well, she can have some of mine. I seem to have plenty to spare. 
root beer. I mean, zombie channel. I would or whatever that is called. But yes. the one about the zombies. The one with the zombies. With the arms. Zombie shambling through the shambles, shambles, zombie, zombie, shambles, shambles, shambles. Rising above their personal obstacles, overcoming sobriety and mediocrity, the dregs have emerged triumphant. And perhaps the best is yet to come. Okay. We decided that we're going to do this next show without pants. All right. Don't you guys hate your pants? So there's this one time at rehearsal, and we all decided. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs>